and welcome to another rousing edition of American in Poland. Today I'm taking you on a journey from Warsaw all the way to Novi Targ and you do not want to miss this. We're going to see some really cool sights. We're going to meet my friend Kinga and I'm going to show you all the foodie stuff that you could possibly do if you ever wanted to come and visit Novi Targ. So already I'm here at the central station in Warsaw train is probably the easiest way to get down there. We'll be taking a quick pause in Krakow and then we'll be grabbing a Flixbus uh, from Krakow uh, main station all the way to Novi Targ and we're gonna just spend a couple days there and have a blast so come along with me. Idziemy. Warsaw's main station or as it's known in Polish Warszawa Centralna was established in 1975. As you can see, it's been recently updated with a futuristic touch that's very much the spirit of the city. To get down to your train, you'll need to head downstairs. Okay, really quick, this is like an insider tip when you get your tickets to go on the trains here in Poland. You're going to be looking for the word peron and that basically means a platform. You're gonna find your uh, peron, and I just showed you on the screen like where my peron is and things like that. So um, my train leaves at 11.41, headed to Krakow, so let's head over to my peron. Okay, according to my billet or my ticket, it looks like I am in wagon six or wagon sześć. And that means that puts me at sector two, which means that I need to probably stand about in this area because the train will like just come right up here and it's just easier for you to get right on to your train. Remember, you don't have a lot of time when you are switching trains or getting on trains the first time. You need to just be ready and jump on that train, get to your, your spot and have your ticket ready. It's super, super easy. So I hope this helps somebody who's never really ridden trains before. Like for me, I grew up in a car in the United States. I really never rode a real train till I got to Europe. And I'm really glad that I've had people along the way kind of like instruct me and train me and I've taken that to heart. And I've become a pretty good, you know, traveler on trains. Even I can go to Finland or Germany or whatever. And I'm, I'm pretty self-sufficient now compared to when I first came. Uh, to Europe and I had no clue what how the system worked. So once you figure it out, you're good to go. So now uh, the train should be coming any second now and I'm gonna jump on and take you with me to Krakow. So today I'm taking the Pekka Pet EIP train in second class. This is a Pandolino or fast train from Warsaw to Krakow and I highly recommend it. It's super comfortable. You've got a place for your luggage you got a spacious place to sit, plus you've got storage above you for any additional items. And you can plug in here with the European plug. You got free Wi-Fi and you also get a free water, your choice. Do a bathroom check here. The Pandolina bathrooms are some of the nicest you can get when you're doing rail travel throughout Poland. You have a plug for European plugs, of course, a coat rack, and generally the space is clean. And I see that we uh, actually have toilet paper we have water, we have soap, so check, check, check. I'll give it a three out of four Mary points. Yeah, it's not uncommon that I go on the nicer trains or even some of the older trains and they just simply do not have paper towels or toilet paper or hand soap. And you're having to go through like several cars trying to sanitize yourself. Here is a little insider travel tip. If you're going to be using the restrooms on the trains in Poland, I would recommend bringing a little bit of toilet paper and hand soap, like a small, small, small thing that you can stick like in your handbag, whatever. Trust me, this is a very important thing. We're on our way in our next stop, Krakow. Welcome to Krakow! I'm super excited to be here. We're actually on time. So now I'm gonna head downstairs and I'm gonna find me a Bitronka or some place to eat, get a snack, maybe some aubergine. It just depends. So come along with me into the main station here in Krakow and then on to our next stop, which is Flixbus. 
I don't have time today actually to go into the Renek. By the way, you can click up here and see uh, my video with my friend Kasha and my instructions on how to easily walk to the Renek. Um, if you happen to have luggage, like I do today, and you do have time uh, before you transition, for example, onto another city, you can put your stuff here at this baggage place. And they also have um, places you can find online as well, where you can deposit your, your luggage uh, for a few hours and just go really quickly, go into Krakow. You really want to do this, trust me. Grab yourself a little snack and go see the city and then come back and do some more traveling. But today it's closed because of the holiday, but this is a really good investment, I think. Like it's like 20 and up Zlotties usually, just depends. You'll need to check it out for yourself because I don't want to misquote something. But uh, it's, it's not that expensive and it's kind of a, a good deal and you can have some freedom to go see some sites. So, okay, I just want to throw that one in and now really on to the next thing. All right, everything was closed, but luckily this place was open and I stopped in here to grab some juice and a little sandwich to go. Now let's talk about how to find the bus station here at Krakow Głowny. They have it very well marked for travelers in both languages. Just follow these signs out this door. And when you head outside, go toward the right here, okay? All right, and like that, we're here. Um, really quick, if you have gone with Fleeksbus as your option to go to Zakopane or some other city, Novi Sanj, whatever, you're going to need to go upstairs to the zero pientro, the zero floor, and you will see the, the Fleeksbus is waiting for you. And then just simply find the correct station and wait for your bus. It's super easy, not complicated. I love it. Nothing to be afraid of. So let's go find where we're supposed to go and go. By the way, you can find out which bay your bus will be showing up by going next door to that building. And in the meantime, I'm having a little bit of lunch and waiting for my bus to get here. Ooh la la. Well, this is what it looks like on the inside. Nice and spacious and a uh, few amenities. <laughs> you know you get what you get but it's comfortable it does come with free wi-fi and you're gonna need that so anyways i'm happy anyways we're out the door out of here krakow and we're officially on our way to novitark and you're gonna really enjoy riding the bus and getting to see some of the sites like this one hello welcome to vavo castle i highly recommend that you go and visit there when you come to krakow it looks like they have like a little carnival going on because you know of the easter weekend so krakow is a cool place to be and just like that the whole landscape begins to change and you can start to see in the background those polish mountains peeking out and those cute pulled holly houses dotting the landscape something also to be looking forward to is hopefully the next time you get to come here that the roads will be a little bit more easier to get around on so you can see some new construction taking place and already we are like almost there i can't believe an hour and a half from Krakow to Novi Targ. and look here we are there's the sign lets you know that our destination is at hand in just a few minutes to your left you will see the Novi Targ bus station where we'll be stopping the bus and ending this vlog I want to thank you so much for coming along with me on this trip and I hope you learned a lot of cool travel hacks so that when you come you have a much easier way to travel so I want to say Dziękuję i do widzenia. Until next time, catch us with the next episodes where I'm taking you into Novi Talk with my friend Kinga, and you don't want to miss this. Later!